Hi, welcome to Local Flavor. I'm Deborah Anderson and we're back in Moreland at Aunt Faye's Community Kitchen. And today I'm gonna make something exciting I found. Um, it's called South African Peri Peri Chicken Skewers. Um, you can usually make them with bone-in chicken or something, but we're gonna make them into skewers like on a barbecue, except for putting, putting them in the oven. And then it's a really spicy dish, so we're gonna have a really mild, basic risotto with it just to balance it out a little. So I need to make the marinade for my chicken first. So that's what I'm gonna start with. Um, also, I should note that I have all of my skewers. I counted out 10 skewers, and I have those soaking in water. Especially if you're using them on the grill, that keeps them from lighting on fire, which makes your food taste really nasty. So, First, I need a half a cup of chopped onion, and I did already chop those, and they were strong, which Doyle told me that he learned on the Chef and the Farmer that if you eat them right out of the ground, they're not so stinky, but it did not solve my problem. So I need the juice of two lemons. I've already squeezed one, and I'll get the other one right here. Usually I borrow Tanya's squeezer, but I could not bring myself to ask her again, so I found this one at Dollar General. I was like, I think if you borrow something from someone three times, you must need it for yourself. And this is kind of old school. I'd love to find an old glass one. Okay, it gets it pretty good. Now I'm going to, it has a little strainer on the end so I can pour the juice in. Also, this is just a marinade, so we don't need to panic too much if the little tiny, tiny pieces get in. But sometimes I can do it without them getting in. This has a lot of familiar flavors in them, but they don't usually, well, when we get to taste it, I'll see if I still think it. I usually think, this tastes so familiar, but it's not right, and then all of a sudden you're craving it, because it's very different. But it shouldn't be, because everyone's eating lemon juice and the rest of these things. So, there's that. Now, I need a tablespoon of white vinegar. I'm gonna use my liquid measuring. Well, I needed it. Okay, now I can't do that with the second one. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my liquid smoke and I can't pour it back in now because they'll be mixed up. Oh, very close. I'm just doing that because I wish I were doing them on the grill. <laughs> so we'll see if we can fake it. And I need a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. And now for my dry ones, I need a tablespoon each of paprika and chili powder. Oh no, it's that kind that doesn't fit in. Bigger mess. <laughs> it's all right. I got a Norwex cloth, so. <laughs> and then I'll just need a teaspoon each of cayenne pepper. And it's kind of cheating. Peri Peri is a kind of pepper in, that they use in South Africa. We have, I've never seen a Peri Peri pepper for real, so we're cheating and using a cayenne. And there's some debate that maybe the Portuguese brought that um, pepper to them anyway. People think this might be a Portuguese kind of sauce. 
It doesn't matter. Who cares? Who, who cares who made it up? <laughs> and then I've got a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. I don't know why it's sticking. I need three cloves of garlic. And I peeled those ahead of time to get the paper off. It's not paper, it feels like paper. Wow. I think I got some under my finger now. That's gonna be nice. That'll probably stick with me till I leave town. And then I need a teaspoon of freshly ground ginger root. And I, ahead of time I peeled it so that we wouldn't have the paper on it either. And you can finely mince it if that's your thing. I don't like biting into ginger root. It's a little too strong. I love the flavor, but not the the sensation you get when you bite into it. So I'm microplaning it so it's super tiny. What am I missing? Anything? I think this is all we need for the marinade. Look how rich that looks. And so many flavors. Yeah, awesome. Now I've got about two pounds of chicken breast and I cut them into size about little squares. Some of them are smaller because that's what I want to stick on the skewer. So that's our marinade in the chicken. I need this to be covered completely. So I'll stir it in and then we got to let it set for quite a while. This will sit for four hours at least, or overnight. So, better get to soaking it up, chicken. <laughs> I'll stick this in the fridge to marinate, and I'll see you when we come back. When a storm leaves your home battered and damaged, there's only one thing you can do. Forget all about it. The men in black at AquaShield Roofing and Construction have the skills and knowledge to fix your home so you'll forget the damage ever happened. Along with roofs, they do siding, guttering, insulation, windows, doors, and more. With offices in Hugoton, Oberlin, and Liberal, they're never too far away when damage strikes. When you need to forget about home damage, call the men in black at AquaShield Roofing and Construction. If you could, what would you have in your kitchen? The quietest dishwasher? Sure. A big 28 cubic foot refrigerator? Oh yeah. A true convection wall oven? Check. You'll find Frigidaire Professional Kitchen Appliances at Genuine Appliance in Hayes. They have all that, plus real stainless steel for fewer fingerprints and smudges. Frigidaire at Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th in Hayes. Your dream kitchen doesn't have to be a dream anymore. Hi. We're looking for insurance. Oh, let's see who's free. Jerry? When insurance agents work for only one company, Michael. their options are simply limited. Everybody. But a trusted choice independent agent is free to shop many companies for a better deal. Free to do what's right for you. Let us shop for you. Contact Rogers & Associate to learn more. Hey Next Tech customers, would you like a chance to win cash prizes and free service? Well, here's your chance to win up to $200. On the first and third Sunday of every month, tune in to Next Tech Local 1 at 6 p.m. and play along with Next Tech Sunday Funday Bingo. If you miss an episode, don't worry about it. It'll replay every night at 6 p.m. Use your cards included with your Next Tech statement or print your own at nexttech.com slash bingo. Next Tech Sunday Funday Bingo is brought to you by these sponsors. Welcome back. Uh, my chicken is done marinating and I've already started putting them on the skewers. I just poured the water out, so remember we had our bamboo skewers um, soaking in water so that they don't start on fire. And now I'm doing the unpleasant work of skewering the chicken. 
which is a mess because of all this marinade. Look, doesn't that look pretty spicy? It does. So it will depend on how big you cut your chicken, how many you can fit on a skewer. I just use 10 skewers because that's what will fit inside my pan and we'll just have to squeeze as many on there as I need to finish out how much chicken we have. It's about two pounds of chicken. And that can vary. I like to trim all of the fat and everything off so it varies how much chicken you actually get out of it. Have you ever got those bags of chicken breasts? And like this one I'm using today actually, one of the chicken breasts is like bigger than my two hands and kind of flat and then there were five in there that were like, like the kind you want to eat for supper, that size, just <laughs> very, very small, just about palm size. So I'm like, is this different size birds? Do they get smashed in there? What happens? Oh, some of these are a mess. So once I get these all scored up, I'm going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees and they go about a half an hour. And at the end, I'm going to check and see if they look brown enough. If they look like they need a little char on them or they look a little weak or peaked, I'm going to put them under broil if I need to. Just to get uh, a nice char on them since we should be doing it on the grill, truly. What are you gonna do if you're too lazy to go outside? <laughs> okay, I think I need one more. That is all of it. The rest of this is just marinade. So I'm gonna, I don't wanna waste that nice marinade with all that stuff in it. So I'm going to pour it on top of the skewers and found one more piece. But you have to throw it away at the end. It's pretty spicy. Some people use it as a sauce afterwards on rice maybe, but it is, it is a strong, strong marinade. So that's up to you. Now, right before I put it in the oven, I'm gonna give just a sprinkle of garlic salt. This will go in the oven, and when we come back, I'll start the risotto to go with it. And it takes a, almost as long to make risotto as it does to cook these, so they should end right at the same time. The easiest way for you to get anywhere in the country is the Hayes Regional Airport. Twice daily flights between Hayes and Denver means you are only 45 minutes from over 100 direct flights to get you to your destination as quick as possible. Service from SkyWest has completely changed the flight experience out of Hayes thanks to the 50 passenger jets that include complimentary beverages and an in-flight restroom. With free parking and short security lines, there has never been a better time to use the Hayes Regional Airport. The next time you travel, check Hayes first at flyhays.com to see the time and money you could save. What a girl wants in her home kitchen. Ease of use, flexibility, fun, the latest kitchen design, Frigidaire Professional Real Stainless Steel for fewer finger smudges, a French door refrigerator, convection cooking, a quiet dishwasher. Have the staff at Genuine Appliance in Hayes demonstrate new Frigidaire Professional Appliances to find what you want. Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th in Hayes. Everything a girl wants. All Face Funeral Chapel and Smith Center will be here to assist you through a difficult time. Your loved ones will appreciate our large up-to-date facility and fully furnished banquet hall. You can rest assured that we can provide an entire funeral or cremation package, including monuments at a price that are more affordable than other funeral homes. Plan ahead with All Face Funeral Chapel. No matter where life takes you, we can meet you there at any location. Call 785-686-4120 or visit allfacefuneralchapel.com. The plumber said there's something wrong with my water. It looks like you have hard water. You need a water softener. Let me show you the options we have. Hey, do you guys deliver salt? We sure do. What about drinking water? We have water coolers and drinking water systems. We even have bottled water. Find us on Facebook and itsbetterwater.com. And remember, it's not in water. 
Welcome back. I've got my skewers in the oven and we're going to start making our risotto so it'll get done at about the same time because risotto is always best when it's really, really, really just finished. We're trying to get a silky sauce in it. I'm starting with two tablespoons of butter, which I had melted, and we're going to work on these onions until they're translucent. So this will take some time. This step, I can't pronounce things in Italian, but it's called soffritto, if I'm pronouncing it right, but someone will call in and correct me probably. <laughs> So I'm going to put that on a little bit higher. And then while that's going, I'll tell you the other things that we're going to do. Once this is translucent, I'm going to put in a couple of cloves of garlic and some salt and pepper just to taste. And then we're going to, uh, if you've ever made rice aroni, it's kind of like that. We're going to, while it's still got oil in here, we're going to get all, put two cups of rice in. Now, you should use a shorter grain rice than I have, like an arborio would be ideal. Uh, you can't find that locally, and I looked in five different stores, so I'm using my old standby, the parboiled rice, my favorite. And so once it gets uh, kind of translucent around the edges, then we'll add some wine. And then with ris risotto is simple, but it is a little bit labor intensive because you need to be with it the whole time. Because you just put in the wine and then you wait for it to absorb. Once it absorbs, you put in, it could be six to eight cups of broth, but you don't know until you're done because you only put in like one ladle at a time and wait for it to get absorbed. And I'll need to taste it now and then to see. Uh, you, want, you want your rice to be al dente just like you want your pasta to be. So you want it to be soft but a little bit firm in the center. Oh, this is way hot. Okay. And you know when I usually make rice on my show, I am always telling you not to stir rice. In this case, because we're making a flavorful sauce from the starches in the rice, that's why we will stir it the whole time. And we're actually using some good flavors with it to make it a nice sauce. But you don't want a nice sauce that's just salt water. That's, so when you're making regular rice, don't stir. But risotto, yes, stir, stir, stir for about 18 to 20, 22 minutes, just depending. On your taste. So while, you know, I put in the skewers, and then in the time it took me to get all this stuff set up, we should be finishing close to the same time. We'll see. I'm just going to take you through a couple of ladles of broth. It's chicken broth. And then we'll be ready. I have made this also in a pressure cooker. What's nice about that is you don't have to stir the whole time. <laughs> I should have brought my pressure cooker. But I don't know how it gets the creaminess. It did. but. I got a pressure cooker for Christmas, so I've been trying all sorts of things. And my favorite so far has been rosemary potatoes. And yes, the cooking part is faster because you're only cooking it a while, but if you have to wait for things to decompress or depressurize, that still takes as long. <laughs> okay, here we go with the garlic. And I'm going to stir these until I get a nice fragrance from it. And then just salt and pepper to take. That's more pepper than I taste. <laughs> and I like to, we're going to have a nice peppery risotto. <laughs> this looks like something my boss Steve ate at the Christmas party one year when the lid wasn't on the pepper shaker. <laughs> I like it a little salty. And the broth I'm using today isn't as, doesn't have as much salt as my usual broth. I'll show you what I'm using this time. It's something new I found. But you could use canned broth like everyone does. Or the bouillon cubes like I usually like because it doesn't weigh as much. 
What I've got this time is these little packets. And for every cup of um, broth that we put in, I'm going to put one of these packets in. And I figured up that about two ladles full is a cup. So I have just got hot water here. And you do want this to be warm because you don't want to stop the cooking whenever you add a ladle full of broth. So I've got hot water, and since we don't know for sure how much we'll use, and I'm almost out of these, I thought I'm just going to use them as we put in the water. So I'll just cut open one of these and put it in. It's kind of a thick syrup of chicken flavor. Okay, these are just about ready. You can feel, you can start to smell your rice toasting a little bit. And I hope this is going to be a big enough pan. Why does it feel like it's so much more than the last time I made it? So next, the wine. You want that to soak in really well. And I'm going to put in a, just a half a cup. Wish I had a smaller measuring cup. Um, the recipe calls for four tablespoons of butter. And we put the other two tablespoons in at the end. So does this not remind you of rice a -roni? And we'll let this cook in until it's all absorbed. And then we'll start in with our, oh, those are, I wasn't reaching that very good. Then we'll start in with our broth. And this will go on for probably 15, 20 minutes. So we'll take a break after I get in the first set of broth. Then at the end, we'll put in one more cup of broth at the very end and some Parmesan cheese and the butter. And that'll make a nice creamy sauce. And you want it should be nice and silky. And you want to eat it as soon as possible once after it's done. The first time I ever had risotto, I was uh, on a business trip in Los Angeles, and I went to this little Italian restaurant close to my hotel, and I ordered veal shank, which I felt a little guilty about, but it was the only regular meat on the menu. <laughs> and then it came with a saffron risotto, and it was amazing. And I had never heard of it before then. So I don't see any fluid at the bottom, so I'm just going to add a ladle at a time of my hot water. That one's almost gone already. And remember, for every two of these, I'm going to put in one of my flavor packets. If you're not short on flavor packets, you could just make your broth right away or use the canned broth. I'm just trying to be frugal here, just in case our risotto cooks quickly. See how it's getting a, kind of a goopy sauce around it? That's actually what we want for risotto, not regular rice. And so what I'll need to do is wait for this to cook down almost dry again, and then add another ladle full, wait for it to cook down. You have to be paying attention to it the whole time. And I'll get some spoons and taste it after about 15 minutes of total cook time. So you don't have to watch me do this for 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, we'll taste how they go together. Make a difficult choice an easy one with Cedar View Assisted Living's knowledgeable and caring staff. Your loved one will be professionally taken care of as they transition into their new community. With movies, holiday parties, planned exercises and games, residents will have opportunities every day to enjoy their time at Cedar View. Multiple room styles are available, ensuring a just right fit for your loved one. Come see Cedar View Assisted Living for yourself next to Sternberg Museum. The care you need, the home you want. You should never run out of the important stuff. Oh. Cooper! Oh man, I gotta go. Oh. 
If your current wireless plan leaves you at the end of your rope, imagine how you'll feel with Next Tech Wireless with unlimited everything. Next Tech Wireless gives you the freedom to go as far as you want. Next Tech Wireless, something different. Tune in to Next Tech Local One for what's happening now so you can learn about interesting events and places that you can visit in our area. Discover new museums and attractions. Hear about interesting places and people. Learn about great organizations that you'd like to support and make plans for your family to attend fun events like fairs, festivals, concerts, and so much more. If you'd like your event to be featured, contact us at Next Tech at least two months in advance. Tune into Next Tech Local One for what's happening now so you can find out about all the great things going on in our area. All Face Funeral Chapel and Smith Center can help you and your loved ones prepare for a difficult time with pre-arranged funeral planning. Not only will it be a stress reliever during a tough time, it will save your family money by locking in a guaranteed rate so funeral costs will be less of a burden. Pre-arranged funeral plans now have options to make paying for a funeral easier, such as a 3, 5, and 7 year payment option. Call 785-686-4120 or visit allfacefuneralchapel.com. Okay, welcome back. I've got our skewers out of the oven and our risotto is just al dente. So we need to add one more ladle of broth in. While we were off camera, we put in about five more ladles and three more packets of the seasoning. So let me turn this up. Put in one more ladle of broth and we don't need to add the broth packet because we actually did with the fifth. Because we were tasting it and we thought we needed one more. So that was the Parmesan cheese and a little bit of butter just to smooth it, make it nice and silky and yummy. So I'll let that melt and see how you've got a nice silky sauce with that, kind of, it's very gooey. It's really best when it's very, very fresh. So let me mix that in really well. Wait for that butter to melt. And I'm gonna grab me a skewer on my plate. I actually like to take them off, but I will eat them off of things since we only have a plastic fork. All right, let me get a little, this is gonna be super hot. I wanna get it on my plate so it can start cooling. I'm gonna take, I wanna, I wanna take a bite of these if they've had a chance to cool and get all of that punch of flavor. It is so flavor packed. And it's like I remember, you're going, oh yeah, I've had lemon, I've had this. It's like they parade into your consciousness and it's, it's a little crazy, you don't understand why, why they're together and then it just, you, you crave this all the time. You know me, I feel like I'm at the fair on a stick. <laughs> and then the risotto is a great complement to it because it's so mild and creamy. Mm, we did a good job on that one. Just a basic risotto, perfect with this. I will tell you that with the leftovers, what I actually like to do with them, because risotto is not as good leftover, but I end up putting them in a burrito with the, <laughs> with the chicken and some cheese, and it was awesome. So give it a try, try something new. This one is used stuff you probably already have in your kitchen. And join us next time on Local Flavor.